Good morning. John Wolf here. Well, today we're going to see what we can do with a 2004 Ford Escape with a check engine light. Uh, that's what we're going to start out with. Uh, let's see. Yep. The old check engine light is staying on. So, let's see. Let's see if we can get the old test meter hooked up. Somewhere around in here. Okay. Turn the key to the on position. And we'll see what we come up with. Uh, it takes this thing a while. Takes it a while. I'm pretty sure that what I'm going to come up with is going to be a misfire. Uh, this is my personal vehicle right there. No, okay. Let's see. Catalyst below threshold. Okay, bad catalytic converter more than likely. Okay, so we're going to go back past this one. And just go ahead and get rid of that. The race was successful. Now we'll unhook the meter. And turn the key off. Start up again. That's simple. But now it will be back because there are other problems with this vehicle. Uh, we're going to in a minute we're going to take a little ride and show you another light that comes up be back with you in a minute okay here we go we're going to go for a little ride see if you can hear the noise ABS system is not working too well on this thing. Now, I'm just going for a ride to get you the light. At uh, 30 mile an hour, the ABS light comes on. So, I'll see if we can get that to happen. Yep, it already happened before I got to it. So, I'm going to turn it back off and do it one more time. Okay, I have got the ABS light back off just by turning the key off, cycling it, turning the power off. And now, back up to 30 mile an hour, it will come back on again. Well, actually, it's about 28 mile an hour. Okay, so I don't have a scan tool that will read the ABS. But I have borrowed one. I did find that we've got a sensor bad on the driver's front or left front wheel. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the sensor on. We're gonna go through the process. You're gonna, we, you and I are gonna learn how to do this together. I haven't put a sensor on from the start before. I have changed wheel bearings that come with a sensor already installed and just had to run the wires. The alarm was uh, somebody forgot to put their seat belt on. That's a rarity for me. I always wear a seat belt. They've saved me a time or two. Um, so basically what we're going to do, we're going to just 
install a sensor because the wheel bearing's good on this one. No sense doing the wheel bearing at all. So I'll be back with you when we get her back in the okay. shop. Okay. We are going to be removing a wheel. So we will be installing or placing a jack stand. Safety first. Always make the vehicle as safe as you possibly can. Find a good solid place to place your jack stand. Start out by taking the tire off. ABS sensor, I believe, if you can see it, is right here. And the wire runs all over the place. Boy, it's going to be fun because it goes through right here. So I have to determine where it's at and how to get it out. Okay, here we go. We'll start out by pulling the sensor out here. Right, it's going to come out easier than I thought. Okay. <clears throat> well, I thought it would. One. Pretty well know this sensor is bad. So we'll get it started here with a little pressure. I know this ain't good. I'm I told y'all before, I'm not much of a, whatever you call it, videographer, sem, sem, cinematographer, whatever that is. Okay. Now, I must learn how to quit shaking the camera so much. Here is a bracket that we have to take loose. Okay, there's two, there's one I don't have the right size picked out yet for. Okay, now we've got a, a holder here that you just simply pull out and pop this plug out. And there is our plug in. And we unplug that. Now I have to go find the right size. Okay, I found the right size for this. So let's go ahead and take this one off. Once we get this little mounting bracket off, we should be able to completely remove the old speed sensor or ABS sensor, whichever one you might want to call it. Okay, there it is. There is the old ABS sensor that is junk. And here is the new one that's going in. So basically all we're going to do now is reverse the process and get everything back in place. Uh, 
which may be easier said than done. Yeah, it may be easier said than done. Okay. We slid the sensor itself in. Place the nut for the bolt for that. Run the cable through. Put that mounting nut bolt back in. This bracket up. Let's see if I can get my whole hands in there to put that in. Okay. Now we've got the little retainer here, a little holder. It just pushes in and plug that back in, shove it back up through, and put your grommet back in. There it is. Now we just tighten everything up and take her for a ride and see what we can do with it or see if we did anything with it. Now we'll be putting the tire back on in just a few minutes, but I want to get everything tightened down before I do. <clears throat> and we'll be going for another test drive. Okay. We'll just tighten the tire. <laughs> jack stand and take it for a test drive. Now I don't like bending down a whole lot. So I made me a little hook here. And I can just get a hold of my jack stand and slide them out. There we go. Okay, does anybody want to go for a ride with me to see if the sensor helped us out or not? <laughs> okay, hop in. Hey, don't forget your seat belts. I mean, we're just going for a short ride, but seat belts are very, very important. <sighs> Boy, I hope this worked. We're gonna find out, actually we'll find out fairly quick because Oh yes, we have brakes. Man, it's funny how just a simple fix. Let's see if we get our, our ABS light. Look at there, no ABS light, 40 mile an hour. People, you and I have fixed this one. Another successful repair, thank you Jesus. And thank you all for watching. Just remember what I always say. Get up off the couch. Do something. Get some grime under your fingernails. We'll see you in the next video. If you like it, appreciate it. If you do like me, hey, subscribe to my channel. Help me out. I'd like to get a hundred. I've only got six subscribers. Let's get a hundred. See y'all soon.